Well, you know, we didn't tackle. You know, we, we, we gave up some big plays by, by blowing coverages. Um, you know, we had some opportunities on the other side and dropped some balls. Um, we, we've got to obviously play much better, particularly on defense. You know, we got to find 11 guys who will tackle. Did you consider the idea of maybe switching quarterbacks at any point in this game, maybe at halftime or anything like that, maybe, you know, a spark or something like that? No, yeah, I thought, you know, Chase was doing a decent job. Um, you know, the, the, the issues we had were, were on the other side of the ball, quite frankly. You know, we had too many times where you know, we had guys wrapped up and then we let out and we got to finish tackles. And we didn't do that tonight. I'm going to call you back in a little bit. You run me through the uh, end of the first half there, obviously, what touchdown. Yeah, we were down. We were down uh, 14 points. It was fourth and one. There might have been 14, 15 seconds left. Uh, we thought we could get it and take a shot, and if not, kick a field goal. You know, but, uh, I think the ball was around the 20-something yard line, and so you know, we we talked about going for a field goal there, but we thought there was enough time, and we thought we could get it. And we had a bad snap, and we didn't execute the play. Execution is kind of like a one-play snapshot. Oh, absolutely. You know, we, we, both sides of the ball. We didn't protect our quarterback very well at times. We dropped footballs when the balls hit us. Our quarterback didn't hit receivers when they were open. You know, on the defensive side, you know, we were fitting gaps, but we didn't have multiple guys at the ball, and we had guys miss tackles. It's, it, it, it blames everywhere. Yeah, run by Steve, like ran and had the guy in the Yeah, I mean, we, we got a chance to have a safety, and we don't finish the tackle there, and we have a couple other guys take bad angles, and. You know, someone assumes somebody else is going to make the play, and you can't do that. Do you get a feeling the guys are, are still fully engaged, you know, that it's just an execution thing, it's not not an effort thing at all? No. I mean, our guys are hurting in that locker room. You know, every one of those guys want nothing more than to win. They're, they're laying it on the line. They're just not playing very well right now. And we have to get that fixed as coaches. we got to get them believing that they can make those plays. And right now, you know, there's some doubt in their mind with, with, with a few guys, and, and you can't play with them. There's that huge sequence. I think it was in the, in the third quarter where you looked, thought you had a fumble on that on that you know incomplete. It's a really ruled incompletion, and then boom, the 91 yard. I mean, from your perspective, I mean, that, that looked to me like it kind of changed the game. Obviously. Oh, no doubt, there was a turning point in the ball game. You know, we have the ball right there. With, I think the six yard line going in. You know, it's a huge momentum play. We get the ball right there and we score. It's a different ball game. Instead, they turned it to a momentum play, and uh, after that, you know. We tried to, you know, scratch back in. We got another score, but, but, but for all intents and purposes, that was the biggest play of the game. Can you just talk a little bit, just kind of about the irony, I guess, of a, you know, a kid from Fresno like like Charles having such a big game, you know, and and, and, and giving you guys another loss, I guess. I mean, I don't think it's ironic. We knew he was a good football player, you know. And, you know we would love to have him, you know, as a bulldog, but uh, you know, that's the way it goes when recruit. You can't take all the guys, and uh, you know, hats off to him. He had a heck of a game. Is have you? Is there something you can draw upon? You know, like have, have you ever gotten to a point maybe that's, you know, this where it's this frustrating as a coach? You know, I mean, kind of. What do you draw upon to kind of keep getting up in the morning? You know, going to work and keep battling at this point. Well, what you draw upon is is that's the only thing you can do. You control the things you can control, and that is get up and keep working at it. And I know our guys will. We've got a coaching staff that's going to keep on coaching these guys up, and we've got players who are willing to work every week. And if we'll do that, we'll be over. we'll be fine. One more question. How does the well, what you got to do is keep going good against good against each other. You know, we made some strides a week ago. We stepped backwards today. You, you got to keep playing. Uh, you know, guys who are backups got to step up. You, you know, you have a couple guys go down. It's got to be next man up.